Transported three minutes on the clock. Three, two, go. Hi, everyone. My name's Tyson, and I'm super proud to introduce Transported today. So whether you're buying or renting, shopping for a new home can be a massive headache. And the reason is that photos and videos on the web don't help very much. Little details like what condition is the floor actually in, or how good is the view. The flow of a home, that intangible feeling that makes or breaks a place. That's why you have to drive all over town, and that can take months. Now, imagine instead you could use virtual reality to tour a dozen homes in an hour, find the couple you like, and then go visit those. Let's put on our headsets and get transported. This is the Transported app. You can browse homes around the world or on the other side of town. Let's check out this place in Jason's old neighborhood in L.A. So with Transported, you can wander around the neighborhood like you're actually there or go into the house. Now, what this demo up on stage here misses is how useful and moving the product experience really is. Humans have a special circuit in the back of our heads that lets us feel places and spaces. It's why standing in a medieval cathedral is a transcendent experience, but photos and videos of the same place don't move the needle. VR taps into that same circuit. It's visceral, it's emotional, and it hits you right here. That feeling is what sells homes, and Transported can deliver that remotely and efficiently. I encourage you to try it yourself, download Transported, come to our booth. If you're a VR skeptic, this is going to change your mind. So let's talk a little bit about how the Transported platform works. A Transported service partner can scan a home using just about any 360 VR camera. It then takes about 30 minutes using our authoring app to create a tour like the one you've just seen. It's cheaper and faster than cutting video. Then, with a single button click, it gets published out into three places. To VR buying stations that we place in agents' offices, as well as loaner headsets they give to clients, as gorgeous web tours for sharing on Zillow and the MLS, as well as to the Transported app for those who have a headset at home. Transported is a B2B product that works with today's VR footprint. Agents are a pinch point in the consumer experience, and so the VR hardware problem isn't a problem for us. Let's talk about our business. So we want to be the Zillow VR. We think it's a $10 billion opportunity. We're going to get there by making money in the short term selling services. We charge between $400 and $1,200 to make tours for high-end homes. We're doing that because it's how we build out our service partner network, and we make a nice 61% margin on that. We launched in January, and this is how we're doing. The blue are homes that we've sold. The pink are ones that our service provider network is selling on their own. By this time next year, we'll be doing about 5,000 tours and $1.5 million in revenue. We've got a model that lets us grow today cash efficiently while Moore's Law pushes VR out into everybody's living room. So Transported really is a better way to buy and sell homes. We are the number one real estate app on Oculus Rift today. We're the number two on Samsung Gear. Reading our reviews, customers really want to shop for their next home like this. We're working with some of the best brands in real estate today. They're our customers. So thanks. Please download Transported, give it a try, and I hope we can help you find your next home. Okay. Ryan, feedback for Transported. So I'm actually looking for a condo right now, and I've been on Redfin and Zillow and other platforms, and I do appreciate the 360 tours that they provide when when they do provide them. However, I rarely see those tours online today. Do you think it's, I guess, describe why it's not too early for something like this, since very few people have VR headsets in their home, and and frankly, looking on my phone at homes via Redfin actually is an okay experience. It gets me the information I need. Yeah, so it's we're sort of at this really interesting hump where... The old way of making those tours, you went through a lot more effort and you didn't get any more bang for your buck, right? So sort of the whole full stack of technologies that VR gives us from really great cameras to headsets to web rendering really makes the whole thing cost efficient and work right now. So in terms of you not having a VR headset at home, um, what we do is we actually place, we have buying salons that we're building in agents' offices, pop-up salons in malls, those sorts of places, as well as loaners that agents give out. To folks. So there are niches in real estate that work really well with VR's current footprint, and we're kind of exploiting those um, and making it work now while we really position to own the entire thing going forward. Um, so, so I think this is a really interesting space. I, I have a similar question just to follow up to that. Right into the microphone? Yep. Oh, yeah. I, I think one of the biggest challenges to VR adoption in general is that something like I don't know, 5% of the laptops out there today or computers can actually power the headsets, and obviously... You need to have a headset, and it's not cheap as either. And so I know you mentioned 
pop-up salons and everything like that, but it is a big hurdle to seeing the type of adoption that I think you guys probably need to be to be a really big business. And I guess I just want to hear more about how you think about that. Yeah, so one, it's, it's moving faster than you think, right? Like um, that capture you actually saw was done with a gear. So that's using actually last year's mobile phone can produce an experience that's that good. So um, it doesn't feel like it's here, but it really is. PlayStation moved a million units in uh, like three months. Um, so we have places where it works today. We can make a really good business. Um, and what we really think is there's huge first mover advantages here. The app stores are wide open. So I mentioned we're the number one app on Rift, number two on Gear. You can actually do, you can't do that. Like launching a consumer mobile app today, really hard. Wouldn't want to do that. We can do that. We have a viable business that lets us live and completely own right now. Jenny. So I think this is one of the most exciting areas in VR, so um, I really love the space. Can Thank you just you. tell me a little bit more? You just started to talk about it, but what distinguishes you guys from the other apps that are out there um, in the home buying space? Because I've, I've seen a few. In, the, in particular, the VR home buying space? Yes. Um, so as far as we know, there's actually only one other competition out there. The name is Matterport. Uh, one of the big differences between us and Matterport, uh, Matterport makes hardware. So they sell a camera that does really good uh, 3D scanning. One of the things that sets us apart is there's a proliferation of cameras. Lots of, there's literally half a dozen cameras, some very expensive, some very cheap. Um, and so our platform, whichever, however you want to shoot a home, our platform, we have an authoring tool and a whole publishing set. So we're sort of the, think of us like the, the YouTube or Zillow of VR as opposed to a hardware manufacturer. Okay. Jalik and Nir, give me your feedback back to back. <laughs> sure. So, um, again, I, I like the space. I think um, this is a good market uh, for VR. What um, is... Um, uh, can anybody shoot this video? Like, what kind of expertise is needed? And how would you go find those? And Nir, what's your feedback? Just real quick, I need to clarify this. So you want you want people to come here instead of Zillow, instead of other home buying sites, right? That's right. what we want so to be. So now answer that, those two questions. No, no, no. But real quick though, what the, the why was there never a 360 degree view independent standalone site? Right, that technology has been around a long time, even before VR. Why wasn't there a standalone site just for those 360 degree vi video pictures? Okay, so I'll try to rip through them really, really quickly. Uh, so the talent, the skill to shoot it, it actually takes much less skill than shooting regular photography or video. It's about placing a camera in the middle of the room, scanning it, and moving on. So it's a technical skill, not an artistic skill. Um, the difference right now is that if you don't go full VR, it's not worth the effort. So things that are a little bit better than photos or videos, it doesn't make a difference, not worth the effort. It's only if you can really, if you can feel the place that all the effort going into it makes, makes it worth time. Okay. Uh, 